So uh, we have to talk about uh, now going more back towards the mat and the next position that we're gonna try to explain is the uh, hawking. So actually it, start, it all started with the hawking. Uh, like I don't know, 10 years ago, it's, it's, the system is in a way peaking at the moment uh, and but it all started with a way that uh, we in some point we just figured out and that it's bad to keep people cross faces and uh, we kept the head on a mat and we called it the Hawking so the, so the reference is always that uh, you know the, it's you know Stephen Hawking so the reference was it, it started as a position defensive and uh, and so we called it the Hawking and uh, the the joke was that the guy was a genius and so is this move. So these days, I, you could say like my old jiu-jitsu is around that actually. I can defend chokes and do a lot of things. And uh, also I've referenced this as a boxing shoulder these days more, but it all started with a joke, uh, with, a, with a, that, uh, that position, that sense. So, and uh, now we, we, we built that, like, I don't know how, how big it is now. It's way bigger than before. Now we have like a, four positions and now the baby bridge kind of kind of threw the wrench into the system because now we know their positions have opposites there's like a closed in uh, you know, a closed uh, kind of this position then it's extension positions so kind of we're trying to you know understand that and we're trying to expand the knowledge and theories and so we'll see how the system evolves it's uh, really silly to ever say something is ready it's always going to be changing it's like computer science, it's like, okay, now we have Intel, I don't know, 11, and then after a year we're 12, and it's always getting better. Uh, so that's what also happens in this system. It's slowly, we get feedbacks and tweaking and everything else. So it does evolve a lot. It's been ten, like almost 10 years even more in the making. So it's 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 fun process. It's not like overnight. So uh, the position itself, it's, uh, you can play it towards opponents and away from opponents. Mostly I personally play it uh, more away from opponents because I want to you know, inspire people and just, let's say, yeah, I always inspire people that it's there because everybody's so afraid to turn their back and there's so many dogmas around that don't turn your back and everything else. But I don't think that's the right thing to say. So people should be more accountable and not say those things because uh, we, we know what to do and uh, we should start to uh, teach both so it's not bad so position itself uh, the running man was more like a chest towards the mat and I'm more vertical so Hawking is more like um, that's the vertical so I'm, I'm back so if my shoulders are more retro, like a pulled back I look like 45 so if I do my Estonian guy position again I hunch everything I do this so I, I look more vertical than I am but I'm not here, so this arms become dead. So it should be still, you know, free arms, so to speak. And uh, my legs, uh, at the moment we're doing this, that my legs are here, it's closed, so there's no access to cradles. But I don't have to close that here, so I can. Now I'm this, and now I just hang my head. And I'm keeping it away, like I'm, usually if they're there, I'm looking for a body weight. There's also extension, because later we can talk about baby bridge and then elbows and stuff, so the head, usually has also like two positions but as everybody usually there and we're gonna show you the context maybe how you get there and how it happens from passes it's like that's how I play elbows are close so it's again same rules as pandas turtles running men and it's hard to get like kimuras and stuff and then I just hang my head also to cancel jokes and we have to show you that let's say paper cutters and all those things so I usually have harder time to to teach hawking there seems to be like some details are weirder for people to get, other positions are easier to teach. But, and also I think in a way it's a fine correlation because it is more dangerous because you're more towards the mat with your back. So, so um, dangers of getting pinned are, are you know, bigger. And that's the, one of the things I teach people a lot, not get pinned, shoulders off, shoulders off the mat. And then uh, all the transitions happening from the Hawking, how to go running man, how this and that. So we start to explain that. But it's really, sorry, it's really one of the positions I used a lot. I know some people, I get like messages that I use running man a lot, but I myself personally, I use a lot of Hawking. And uh, I even don't know why, 
but I find it's very comfortable and I'm super safe and then I fight from there and because I don't want to be flat because people put more weight on me and then it's suffering so and then let's start let's see how we how does how this section takes off